Hi, in this video we're going to examine the structure of data frames in Pandas, which is a Python library for data analysis and management. In the previous video we loaded a CSV file into Pandas and we're going to continue working with this data in this video. We assign the data that we loaded into a data frame under the variable SOCC and what we're going to do first is we're going to examine all the columns in the data frame. And if you think about the structure of tabular data, the columns typically give you the types of information present in a table. And in Pandas, if we use the columns attribute, we will get a list of columns in a data frame. We can use brackets in Pandas to access entire columns in the data frame, and this is done by placing the name of the column in brackets as a string object after the name of the data frame. So what we're going to do here is we fetch the column named author from the data frame SOCC. And when I run this cell, pandas returns us some output, which consists of the indices for the rows and then the values contained in the column author. So what we actually have here is a pandas series, which is another type of data structure in pandas. You can think of a pandas data frame consisting of multiple pandas series, which are placed in the columns of the data frame. So each column holds a pandas series. And what we just retrieved from the data frame is then a series object. We can easily check this by examining the type of the columns. So what I'm going to do here is I'm printing out the type of the data frame under the variable SOCC. And then I'm going to print out the type of the object under SOCC in the column author. And as you can see, it is a um, data frame under the variable SOCC and then under the column author we have a pandas series. And as you saw from the output, when you print out the contents of a data frame, pandas will omit anything that comes between the first five and the last five rows because these data frames can be massive. The same applies to any output from methods um, for pandas data frames or series. And we can use, for example, the value counts method to count the number of unique values in a series. And if we now apply this to the column author to count the number of unique authors in the columns, we'll see that, okay, um, the editorial team wrote about 2,700 of the editorials, not surprisingly. And then um, somebody named Jeffrey Simpson was also very productive. And then at the end of the result, we have individuals who, who only contributed a single editorial. And we only see 10 values here, but if we examine the length attribute here, we'll see that the data frame actually contains editorials from uh, 1,896 individual authors. Another very useful feature of Pandas is the ability to plot the information in series. And what we're going to do here is we're taking the values in the author column. Then we're going to count the unique values in the column. We take the first 10 items in the output or in the series and then we call the plot method and supply the argument kind and the value bar, which indicates a bar plot. And above this line, we have this piece of code saying matplotlib inline, which simply tells Jupyter Notebooks to render the plot in the notebook. And as you can see, what we get back is a simple bar plot of the authors containing the same information that we already examined in written form. And if you have a column or a pandas series with numerical values, we can use the describe method to get basic descriptive statistics on the data. So in this case, we could, for example, examine the number of top level comments. So comments regarding the articles posted originally into the thread and then use the describe method to get some descriptive statistics 
So we'll see that we actually have um, roughly 10,300 values and the mean value is 26. So on the average, the editorial got 26 top level comments. We can also filter the data according to some criteria. So if we would like to find articles or editorials with no comments at all, we can use the data frame accessor called LOC or location to access some roles based on their values. And we can start by looking at the number of top level comments, which are stored under the column N top level comments. But here we need to pay a bit of attention to the syntax in pandas, which is sometimes a bit confusing. So if you take a look at this cell right here, so what we do first is we get the data frame under the variable SOCC, then we call the LOC accessor and note the brackets here. And within the brackets, we again have to refer to the data frame with its name so that pandas knows where to look for the data frame and the column. So one needs to be very explicit. So you put the name of the data frame again here first, and then you feed the name of the column in brackets as usual as a string object, as you can see from the quotation marks surrounding the string and top level comments. And then outside this bracket or after this definition of the column in the data frame, you put two equal signs which then evaluates this statement on the left against the criteria on the right. So we want to have those rows where the value of n top level comments is zero. And if I run this cell, what we get back is articles. And as you can see, we have approximately two and a half thousand articles or editorials with no comments at all. We can just double check this by looking at the value for n top level comments and as you can see they're all zero. We can also combine criteria using the and sign which is the Python operator for and and to do this you need to put the individual criteria in parentheses and then join them using the and sign. So if you take a look at this cell right here where we're looking for um, the first author in the previous result, Hayden King. And if the person wrote any articles with zero comments. So what we do is we use the LOC accessor again. And within the brackets, we put in parentheses these two statements that we want to evaluate. And here in the middle, we use the AND sign to combine these two criteria. And if I run this cell, then we simply get one hit. So there is one article written by Hayden King that received no comments at all. To summarize, pandas data frames consist of series placed in columns, which can be accessed and manipulated and analyzed in different ways. Um, I hope you found this video useful. And if you have any questions, just leave a comment below. Thanks.